In cancer therapy, we know that cancers are driven by mutant genes that drive cancer cells to grow. In this case, we know that cervical cancer is driven by a virus, and this is a unique gene that drives the cancer. We've used CRISPR to target that gene, and that kills only the cancer cells, leaving normal cells untouched. Basically, we cured cancer in animal models entirely. So cancer cells or the tumors have been cleared 100% with 100% survival rates for every animal used in this study. So what we did is we took human cancer cells and used them in our preclinical animal models. We gave them cancer. Then we refined and designed a specific treatment that targets certain genes within the DNA of that cancer cells. What CRISPR does is it targets the gene and it breaks it open and the body tries to repair it by adding a few extra letters. It's like misspelling a word in the spell check and no longer recognises that as a right word. The gene doesn't make any protein. The cell dies. So to our knowledge, this is the first example in the world of completely curing a cancer using CRISPR technology. Others have shown reductions, but this is the first complete cure. We're really excited. This study uh, from Griffith University is the first to demonstrate successful treatment of metastatic cervical cancer using CRISPR gene editing. Our aim is to translate this exciting finding into the practical treatment for our women. To help achieve this, we have weekly meetings uh, with these exceptional research scientists aiming to work out ways that this can be done. We are hoping to see our treatments being applied to human to treat cervical cancer and other cancers hopefully in the next five years. One of the main things to determine there is to make sure it's safe and effective and decide how many treatments we need to give a patient before they're cured of their cancer. If we are able to identify the driver genes that drive the cancer cells regardless of the type of the cancer, this means this technology will be able to be utilised to treat that kind of cancer. There are labs all over the world who are developing CRISPR technology for cancers. And CRISPR technology is really the next big thing in terms of gene therapy. Things which have a very poor survival rate now. This technology is going to revolutionise how we treat cancer and survival rates will improve dramatically in the next 10 years.